what is going on guys it's Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service today I am at the MGIA show in Novi Michigan so let's check it out right after this thank you for watching this video today please hit that subscribe button and join the lawn crew also make sure that you show that like button some love be sure to check out our lawn care wear shop on Teespring the link is in the description below. You guys are going to love the shirts there. If you enjoy this video, please leave a comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. thing I got to say about the Starus is that it looks really simple, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice to see that.
Alright guys, I'm telling you what. If I ever go into landscaping, this is one of the machines I will buy. From what I hear, this is just such a versatile machine that you can't go without it. Let me know in the comments about what you guys think of this little uh, Kubota. It's the BX235. I, I really kind of like it. So I think there's going to be an enclosed trailer in my future. I don't know exactly when, but this one's pretty sweet. It's a sure track. This is actually the same dealer that Brian uses. And uh, this is a sweet trailer, I have to say. I'm really quite impressed with it. Um, it's a ton of space. It's really nice. So it's, it's pretty sweet. This is the new Ryan stand-on aerator. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's huge. Looks super heavy. Um, lots of different controls here for it. Uh, it is not foot operated. It's button operated, but it looks pretty good. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this Ryan aerator. I know it's new. But there are some guys that have it already. Uh, if you have experience with it, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. This is going to be a hot button topic for a lot of you. What do you guys think about the Red Max mowers? A lot of guys that I have been talking to say that it's basically just a Husqvarna with red paint on it. Or it's just a Bobcat with red paint on it. So. Guys, let me know your opinion of the Red Max commercial mowers. And if you own one, please comment down below. I'd love to know your experience with them. Uh, I have not had any experience with them other than I drove one at the GIE Expo. But other than that, I've done nothing with them. I don't know how they cut or anything. So let me know, guys, because... They seem like they're pretty pretty inexpensive. So if it's a good mower, man, I might jump on it. I gotta say, these are pretty sweet spreaders here by Boss. You guys have seen my cheap $70 spreader. Well, this is really nice. We've got some, we've got baffles here and stuff. You can flip up and down. It's super heavy. Um, just rolls like a dream. It's also got this grate in here, which can be removed, which is better. And then you've got this spinner here, which is really nice because it, it'll break up the salt and stuff like that. So I may have to invest in a little bit better spreader because mine just kind of, it locks up. It's very light, but I think this, something like this is going to be way better for my business in years to come. So this year I might have to rent something like this. I've got a project at my own house that I've got to take care of. So I might have to rent one of these little things and uh, have it delivered to my house. I've got a, a window well that i got to dig out and replace. So I am, uh, I am intrigued by these things though. They're pretty sweet. I've heard that they're pretty good. They move move a good good amount of dirt so I'd love to uh, run one and see what's going on so I'm back at home I totally forgot to film the outro for the video at the MGIA show thank you guys so much for watching this video please if you haven't already subscribe to the channel hit that like button hit the notification bell 
And as always, I will see you, well, at the next show.